Hello and welcome to Growth Mindset with me, Arsalan. Today we will be going through what if analysis. What if analysis is changing the values in the cells and seeing its outcome on the formulas in the worksheet. What if analysis consists of three tools in Excel that includes data table, scenario manager and goal seek. Data table can take two variables and give multiple outputs whereas the scenario manager can take multiple variables and in the case of goal seek it takes the result and then it works back to see how those results can be achieved but before moving towards the examples just click on the button above if you want to see detailed VH and XLOOKUP tutorial now just let's dive into the tutorial to see how all of these three function works in example one, we will see goal seek function of what if analysis. We have a simple income statement that contains sales, cost of goods sold, gross profit, gross profit percentage, operating expenses, financial expenses, net profit and net profit percentage. Now, for instance, we have 15% gross profit and we want to increase the gross profit percentage to 20% by increasing the sales figure how we can achieve it we can achieve this through goal seek function we go in the data tab we select the what if analysis dialog box and we go and select goal seek now we want to increase cell c10 to the value of 20 percent by changing the cell c7 we press ok and we have achieved a gross profit of 20 percent now for instance we go through the example again but this time we want to reduce the net profit percentage by increasing the operating expenses so what and how we can do it we go again in the data tab we select what if analysis goal seek now we want to reduce cell c15 to 10 percent and by changing the cell operating expenses and we press ok and another ok now you can see from 33,000 it has increased to 86,760 so this is how we can use goal seek function to attain our desired results now let's move on to another example in example 2 we explore what if data table and here we will carry out multiple what if analysis using two variable that is varying purchase price and the loan term that is here we have for instance we want to loan a car that value is 35,995 loan term is 36 months interest rate is 5.25 percent we want to calculate the monthly installments so we will use the PMT function that calculates the payment for the loan based on the constant payments and a constant interest rate first argument is the rate which is 5.25 percent we divide it by 12 to make it monthly because we have loan term of 36 installments over here and per that is number of periods and that is 36 installments and lastly the present value of the asset that we are buying is 35,995. We close the bracket and the installment is $1083. Now we have different options, option 1 to option 10 of the car loan amount. And at the same time, we have a second variable where we have a loan term that is 24 months, 36, 48, and 60 months. Now, for instance, we have four of loan term options and 10 car loan amount options that make equal of 40 options. How we can find the 40 monthly installments? Now, if we want to calculate all of these 40 options, we will keep our cursor in cell c10 we will select all the way towards our right till option number 10 we will select all four loan term options then we go in the data tab we select what if data table row input cell 
is the car loan amount this row and then we have a column input cell which is the loan term loan term we select 36 and we press ok and here we see that we get combinations for instance if we have a car loan amount of 26,995 and we select 24 months plan we'll have to pay an installment of 1187 likewise if we want to go for the fourth option that is a 60 month installment plan we will have to pay 513 dollars only for instance if we think that we want to keep our budget in the range below 700 so we'll have to go through these options we'll have to see that any one of these options are suitable for us if we want to stay below $700 installment plan. That is how you can use what if analysis data table option to calculate multiple calculations using two variables. And we had two variables of car loan amount and the loan term. Let's move on to our next example. As seen in the last example, we were working with two variables. In cases where we have three or more variables, we may go for what if drop down scenario manager tool in the data tab placed on the ribbon. For each scenario, you have to type the input variables into a dialog box and the scenario manager will then produce a report of all the scenarios. Let's see how it works. We go in the data tab, we select what if analysis and we select scenario manager. We delete all the things we make it clean okay now we add the scenario name the first scenario is long term loan the changing cells will be this you have to press control while you are selecting this this and this these are the input cells it's up to you whether you want to keep the prevent changes checked or unchecked it depends on you Checked would not allow your final report to be changed and unchecked obviously would allow changes to be made. So I repeat again scenario name. We can keep any scenario name that coincides whatever options we are looking forward to. We want to make it a long term loan. We are changing these cells. We have four variables price, down payment, number of payments and rate per annum now we say okay so we have a price of 225000 the down payment is 10% the term we say we want to make it 180 months and we keep other things same and we add it now we write we want to make another scenario where we want to reduce the number of payment terms so we make it short term loan and we again select all of these cells we remove the check press ok and keeping all of the things same we want to make it 120 months loan period and we add it and then we add another scenario where we increase the rate per annum increase rate and these four cells again and we comment increase in rates we uncheck it we press ok and we increase the rate to six percent and we press ok now we have three scenarios long-term loan short-term loan and increase in rate we want a summary of it scenario summary we select and the results resulting cells we want all of these cells we press control again and we select all of these cells press ok and now you can see that it has given us a scenario summary we have current values that were 225,000 10% down payment term of 150 months and interest rate of 4% now we changed and made few other scenarios long-term loan was 225,000 down payment was still the same 10% we increased the term from 150 installments to 180 installments and the interest rate was 4% and in the same way 
we have short term loan where we reduced the term to 120 installments from 180 and original of 150 and here in the last scenario we increased the percent from 4% to 6% now let's see our result this is our current scenario we have installment value of 1909 as a result of increasing the term from 150 to 180 reduce the installment to 1664 here the installment is increased because the loan term has reduced and here you can see in the last that we have increased the interest rate and here there is a massive jump from 70,862 to 117. So on the basis of the scenarios that we have created it has made a summary using these four variables we are getting these results in different scenarios where we have current values long-term loan short-term loan and increase in rates so you can make different scenarios as per your requirement and this is how the what if analysis different functions which include scenario manager goal seek and data table can considerably reduce your work and can do different tasks in a very quickly way lastly i would like to say that this cell this row column c is not going to be as it is being shown over here you will receive the reference cells what you can do is either you can link it from here like this or in other case i have changed the name of these cells if you see when i am in cell number b9 i have changed it to price previously it was like this i've changed the cell names you can see that this cell has been named price this cell has been named down payment this cell has been named term rate interest rate all these cells you can see i have changed the names for instance if you're in this cell that is b20 and i want to change it to payment and now when you come in the next cell it's b21 but when you come in this cell this has been named payment and on the basis of the names that we keep over here the names will start appearing over here otherwise it is going to show the cell references rather than the names well that's all for today if you think that this tutorial has added something to your professional value make sure that you hit the subscribe button and if you want to show your love and appreciation hit the like button and your comments are a navigation tool for this channel make sure to give your comments that's all for today take care see you soon bye bye